Welcome back to my channel if you're returning and you're very warm welcome if this is your first time. My name is Onase Ogwebo and I make videos about education, personal development and career. Now following on from identity is one similar and that is outward appearance. That's another area I've seen personal development. So for me in growing, I wanted to start from a place where I felt beautiful, I feel confident, or I feel beautiful, I feel confident, I feel assured, secure, first on the inside before the outside. So if you have nice clothes, you have, you have nice shoes and all of that, but you don't feel beautiful inward, like you don't, you don't have a strong sense of identity or self-worth on the inside, then those external things wouldn't, wouldn't really help much. So I say to myself, you know, having, or going through this journey of um, understanding my identity and, you know, having building a strong identity rather or having a strong sense of identity i say to myself honestly whether it's a birkin bag or a primark shoe you are who god says you are and you are beautiful wow i should write that down that that makes sense that that's rhyming so i'm coming to that place where although i want to look good externally i first want to build up my confidence internally you know god was teaching me as he's been taking me through this journey of identity that honestly whether you're dressed up as a princess whether you look as good as you look now or you're just in your loungewear maybe with your hair bonnet you're beautiful like you need to understand that 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 um that's that's fixed these things might change these things might vary how you look today might change but that shouldn't have the quality like of the your sense of beauty your sense of identity but that being said once you have that strong sense of identity coming from you know animating from within then outward appearance you know gives you like an add-on confidence that's how i would put it an add-on confidence not the main thing so on on to outward appearance i think another area that i've seen growth and development in the past two years is like my outward appearance my look and i'm really really loving that so I wouldn't say that I've ever been a shabbily dressing person. I don't come from that type of home where you can just go out looking, you know, looking scattered. Like, no, you can't do that where I come from. But still, I feel like I'm now investing more in my outward appearance and I can see the fruit of it. Now, you know, it doesn't have to be something big. It doesn't have to be like, oh, you're going to buy the most expensive designer. You know, you do things based on the level that you are. Like, you dress your best for the level that you are. That's what excellence is, doing your best. And if your best is a 15-pound Primark sh shirt, which is well ironed, then do that. If your best is um, a Louis Vuitton bag, then do that. But I've just found that um, investing in my outward appearance, like buying nice clothes, making sure that I, I look prim and proper, has really giving like an added boost to my confidence. Like I said, I don't want that to be the basis of my confidence, but you can't, I can't lie, like looking good is good business. It gives you like an added boost of confidence. So um, I do, I do appreciate that. And what I would say about outward appearance, dress to like your level, whatever it is financial, like don't break the bank to look good. You can look good in simple clothes. Let's be honest, this, this shirt I'm wearing, you know, I've taken nice pictures with it. It looks nice in pictures, but I got it for like 15 pounds on Primark. I'm just using that as an example. So maybe it wasn't up to 15, maybe 10 to 15 pounds. So it's not always in, it's just in the, in the quality, the good quality of the things she wears. It's not always in the most expensive. It's just the intentionality in taking your time to present yourself properly. And this is not just for girls, because I know that a lot of emphasis is placed on how girls look, but just for human beings in general, like, have you made sure that you're going out like, your hair isn't flying everywhere. Like you look the best that you feel that you can look at that given time. That's what I'm going for. Let me tell you a story. As I was thinking about this video, I thought about a funny story. So like I said, I started investing in my, but how my outward appearance, how I look, even if I was going to that grocery store or I'm not going anywhere fancy or anything, I don't have a full face bit on. I just make sure that, you know, I'm dressed nice. My, my socks are clean, you know, my shirt is ironed. I just look decent. And I remember that while I was viewing properties around summertime last year, I was going to for a viewing, nothing serious. Nobody was going to see me. I wasn't going out. Like I wasn't having any plans afterward, but I just decided to look nice. I wore a simple, it wasn't anything fancy. I just wore a simple black shirt with jeans, um, you know, and a belt, semi tucked in, carried a bag, did my hair nice. I just looked simple, but really nice. Like I made the effort to look to look as good as i could in that moment and funny thing i met my ex-crush well i call him my ex-crush something to that effect you know 
and let's just, let's just call it my call him my ex crush. I met an ex crush um attending the same viewing for the same property like what are the odds and this person is from nigeria like i met this person in nigeria and this person had later moved to the uk but i mean you, you understand the united kingdom is so big so like what are the odds that this person i haven't spoken to in a while i haven't seen physically for in about a couple of years i would just meet them at this viewing and i can't lie i felt gassed that i looked good that day because i was like yeah honestly you see looking good is good business any day, any time. So that's just an example. You walk, your head is held up a bit higher when you're, you're well put together. And like I said, it doesn't have to be something expensive, but just investing in your outward appearance will give you an added boost of confidence. The final era that I would say I have seen growth and development, especially in the past year, is in my spiritual life. So as a person of faith, my spirituality is at the core of you know who I am, the things that I do, and I know that um during the pandemic here, like I have talked about many times on this channel, it was a bit of a struggle being by myself. But I found that now that we have eased out of the lock, eased out of lockdowns and whatever not, just having community has really helped like my spirituality, building daily practices, just having a, a really strong community of people that share my faith, that encourage and support me. You know, in my faith, I found that has brought about a lot of personal development um, within me. So like I said, my faith being at the core of everything that I am, it feeds into every aspect of my life. So if I believe that I'm a representative of Jesus, you know, I want to be at my best most of the time. I mean, you may not always be at your best all of the time, but you want to put your, you know, your best foot forward. You want to be an ambassador of Christ, like represent him in the way, you know, that his Bible says that as we behold him, we become. So for me, um, my building my, my spiritual life, like growing in my faith a lot in this past year has helped every other aspect of my life, like how I interact with people. So just having God correct me about how I interact with strangers people that i meet for the first time is like when i say you can't always use the excuse of oh um i'm not i'm not good with strangers like you can make efforts he's always reminding me god is always reminding me to practice kindness so that has fed into my relationships it's fed into my desire to grow to to renew my mind the bible talks about renewing your mind i'm coming to this place where i'm challenging like my, the way i'm thinking you know i'm challenging behaviors behavioral patterns you know emotional dynamics you know, how I respond to situations. I'm just always looking to be my better self, how I can serve people better, how I can love people better. So I think growing in my faith has challenged every other aspect of my life in terms of improvement. I was going to give an example. I don't know why the example skipped my mind. I'll just give an example. If I remember, I will come back to that. So I just want to be, you know, a better friend, a better sister, a better daughter, a better student, and all because, you know, I feel connected to God and I want to represent him better. Like, I just want his light to shine through my life. And that has fed into how I'm improving in other areas. Even things like time management. Yes, I remember what I was going to say. So just the other day, you know, I was reading about grace-based love and conditional love. And how did that start? So usually during my quiet time in the morning, I just end up sometimes reading articles. And, you know, it just expands my mind. So I just don't read and just think things as I see them you know I think about them I compare them with what I believe to be truth what I believe to be the standard the basis for how I live and think okay does this reflect God you know this attitude that I'm, I'm exhibiting doesn't reflect God this thing that I've read this article can it help me better reflect God it's not like I'm sitting down consciously always thinking about it but you know that, that's how I process the things that I read and just renew my mind so yeah definitely my faith so in this second part of the video, I'm going to be talking about how, you know, growth is taking place, how I know that this growth is taking place and the things that is making this growth possible. So I've said, oh, I'm growing in this area, in this area. I'm, you know, I'm more invested in looking cute. Um, I'm growing in my relationships and blah, blah, blah. How do I know this is happening other than the, than the examples that I've given you? And why is this happening? I think the very first thing is intentionality. Intentionality. One of my philosophies for life is that, you know, success really ever happens in a vacuum. Things really ever happen in a vacuum. Like there's something that brings about a resultant effect. You know, there's um, there's always usually a catalyst. There's always something that brings about a desired result. So consistency, for instance, we know if you're consistent in doing a certain thing, you get better at it. You know, 
or yeah, consistency in practicing something rather you get better at it. So I believe in growth takes intentionality. For example, I noticed that I hadn't been reading as much like extra curricular reading, if I'll call it that. I was mostly doing academic reading and I wanted to get back to that habit of reading outside of like my um, educational materials, like my school books. And I just noticed that when I started practicing a little bit more intentionality, I had read more books in a year um, compared to a previous year where I had read none. So the, the next year, I think maybe you know, I had read one or two the previous year and it wasn't intentional. But the year after that, I had read about five or six just because I was a bit more intentional. So any area that you desire growth, practice intentionality. Like I said, I read a lot of articles about, you know, just emotional health, emotional dynamics. Um, because I feel like I want to, in case I did not have that before or in the areas I didn't have that before, I want to create a healthy emotional environments for me to thrive in and for my loved ones to thrive in. I, I wait to myself and the people that I love to bring a healthy emotional dynamics to the table. So I read a lot around that, a lot around, you know, emotionally abusive behaviors, just things like that so that I expand my mind and I challenge my my behaviors, I challenge my uh, my thoughts. So that's one intentionality second introspection and self-awareness i think you can't be you can't be intentional about an area of growth if you don't even know you have you need growth in that area i'm coming to learn that we have blind spots so these are things that other people see the weaknesses that other people see about us that we don't always see about ourselves and you know i had several of those blind spots and i probably still do that i don't know about but you know just having a conversation with someone who was a friend just opened my eyes at one point to see a blind spot that I had in my emotional interaction with the people that I loved. And I started working on that. So self-awareness is very important. Sometimes other people will tell you, oh, honestly, I think, you know, if you're bold enough or if you're, you're really good friends, well, I think you're a bit, a bit this, like a friend of mine tells me, you don't, you don't respond to my compliments. Like you don't say thank you. And so I'm more intentional now that, you know, when she says, oh, you look nice today. I'm like, oh yeah, thank you. And not just brush it off. So that self-awareness, that introspection is very important. It may not come to you naturally, but you can practice it. Like how I said, I'm practicing kindness even when I don't feel like. You can practice, practice introspection and self-awareness. Think about the things you're thinking about. Think about your feelings. This has helped me a lot with my emotional regulation. Like, why am I feeling this way? So sometimes I just want to run away from awkward or uncomfortable situations. But growth doesn't always happen in your comfort zone. So when I realize, I think about it, I realize, okay, honestly, you want to run away from this situation because of this. So I start to practice my emotional regulation in the sense of, okay, this is what the problem is. But just show up, even if it's hard, even if you don't feel like, even if it's a bit uncomfortable. That self-awareness, I promise you, that's helped me so much. It's helped me identify the areas that I want to grow in. And because of that, I can be intentional. Another thing that I would say helps is community. Having people around to hold you accountable, to say, wow, that, that thing you did was, wasn't it at all. Or like my friends, when I'm not making time for them, I can just tell the way that they are talking to me, like the way they're looking at me with that side. I like, honestly, if you if you like cancel this outing, so that kind of thing. So just having that accountability around has helped a lot. For my spiritual life, I talked about having a community of people to grow with people to pray with, people to share the word with has helped me to stay accountable and it's helped me really tough seasons. For emotional intelligence, having the accountability of people that love me well enough to call out a bad behavior, to point out something that I can be doing better, you know, has helped me seek improvement. For my outward appearance in terms of like my fashion style, her beauty, whatnot, I piggyback like ideas of my friends and my sister bless her soul every day i'm like doing runway shows like what do you think of this outfit if i pair this and this together what do you think you know just being intentional also about waking up to do my makeup if i want to wear makeup on a day or even if i'm not being intentional about making sure my skin looks good like moisturizing putting sunscreen very simple things but you know having that community to help with that and just that intentionality i found has helped me so yeah I have come to the end of this video. I hope you've enjoyed it. I hope you found like the tips I've shared 
useful i um please do share like what areas do you think you're you're growing in if you're comfortable leave a comment in the comment section um, section below in this past year what do you think you've been intentional about or what area do you think you've been intentional about growing in have you seen growth how are you finding the growth process i can tell you it's so uncomfortable sometimes for me but you know the more i'm doing it the more confident i'm getting in just my growth mindset and in my ability to change and be better so yeah please do leave a comment below and like share share please subscribe to my youtube channel and more content coming your way thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next bye